In 1945, two brothers arrived in Israel after having survived Buchenwald. Both their parents and their brother Shmuel had been killed in European concentration camps. The younger of the two, Yisroel Meir, was seven years old. The older, Naftali, was 18. Sometime during their initial year in Israel, in 1945, Naftali was taken to meet the Rebbe of Gur, Rabbi Avram Mordecai Alter, whose wife and children had also been killed in concentration camps. The Venerable Rebbe of Gur asked Naftali, Did you see the smoke rising from the chimneys? To see the, the chimneys in Auschwitz from the crematorium, which means the bodies, the corpses, after being dead in the gas chambers, were taken to the crematorium to burn them. Not to bury them, but to burn them. And the chimneys worked day and night. Have you seen the chimneys? He said, yes, I did. In your very eyes? Yes. Did you see also the Reboine Shinerum there? He didn't answer enough time. He didn't reply. I understand that the question of the Rebbe was if in spite of seeing such a phenomenon, didn't you lose your faith in the Almighty? In 1974, Rabbi Lau revisited Buchenwald. While walking through a former torture chamber, he chanced upon a word on a small cement windowsill, evidently etched into the cement with a fingernail. Nekume, revenge. Nekume, let's translate it into words, revenge, to take revenge. There is, there is very many meanings, what is Nekume, what is a kind of a revenge. If you would give me a rifle and show me an old Nazi who have killed my mother in Ravensbrück, shoot at her on the last day of the war. Or you would point out about a German, an old one, or a Ukraine one, one of the assistants of the Nazis, who pushed my father to the guest chamber in Treblinka. And I have a rifle in my hand. Kill him. Take revenge. Nekume, in Hebrew and Yiddish. I'm not sure that I can press the and send the bullet. I'm not sure. It will not bring back my father or my mother to this world. For me, Nekome is in the eternal perspective. They wanted to destroy us and to destroy our heritage. Lechu v'nachide migoi, according to the chapter in the Psalms, Let's liquidate the people of Israel from being a nation. And let's extinguish the candle of Judaism in the world. So the name Israel will not be mentioned anymore. This was the plan. Rabbi Yisrael Meir Lau served as Ashkenazi chief rabbi of Israel from 1993 to 2003. He is presently Chief Rabbi of Tel Aviv. As of 2013, his son, David, is the Ashkenazi Chief Rabbi of Israel. My father was the 37th generation of a rabbinic dynasty in Europe. I am the 38th and the first one who serves in Eretz Israel, not in Europe. My three sons, of the eight children, there are three sons, all the three are Rabbanim, one of them even the chief rabbi. This is a kind of a Nekoma. You wanted to extinguish the candle? You are not here anymore. Seventy years after your defeat, and we, thanks God, multiply and flourish. This is for me. Then a couple.
But I can tell you one thing, that a man who is suffering, who is in a trouble, he understands better than the others that all these materialistic accomplishments of this world is nothing, is zero. It must be something spiritual, which is the real world. This brings him to thinking about the future, about the redemption of the Jewish people, about the fulfillment of the prophecies of all the prophets we have mentioned and we didn't mention yet. Because he is in such a situation that he understands that in God we trust, but not the dollar is the God.